Hey guys, uh, welcome to July. Um, we've got a new month, it's the first Tuesday, which means two things for you guys. Number one, uh, I have another top five for you, which uh, as you can see by the card on the table, uh, I will be showing you my top five jokers um, for my collection. And number two, I have another um, giveaway for the month, which I will start today. Um, you know, we gave the, the winner um, for June on the last video, so I have a new contest starting today. Um, I have another two-pack set to give away, which I will give you the details on at the end of the video. So let's get right into the Jokers um, before we get too far ahead of ourselves. So here's your normal, everyday bicycle Joker. Um, you know, in every bike deck you get a, one of these and then a Guarantee Joker, which has got the deck guarantee information on it. Um, so I'll be judging um, the Jokers based on creativity, design, um, if it pops, you know, it's, it's, it's a big thing. You open it and say, wow, look at that. Um, you know, as well as other things. Um, so there's that. Let's get right into number five, which we have the Carnival Hornets Jokers, which are right here. Really cool. They're exactly the same, except for a slight reveal, which I will show you in a second. Um, just to give you the brief rundown real quick, I'll kind of go in here real slow. Let the zoom catch up here. There's your bottom of the card. you got the skull and crossbones. you got the bees and the, the, the critters kind of humming around the, the hornet's nest there. And the skeleton standing on it. He's got the joker hat, um, which I only can assume is a um, swarm of, of hornets or bees or whatever you have you right by his face. So you get in there, you can see kind of the red dotting around the face um, right there it says the Joker and, and these again the second Joker is exactly the same except for a card reveal which the B on the bottom is holding a three of spades so there is that that's number five the Carnival Hornets Jokers so let's see those down let's look at number four it is the Tally Ho Jokers, which are really super cool. Now, the one thing with Tally Ho is just like the bicycle decks, you get um, a guaranteed Joker and a regular standard, you know, cool looking Joker. So, this Joker is awesome. He's like a cowboy. He's got the rope, um, the hat, um, the boots there. So, really creative Joker. Um, there's nothing else I've seen like this, um, especially with the color, it kind of pops. So, I like that a lot. There's no reveals, no goofiness like that. Yeah, I would, this would have been higher on my list, um, actually, if you actually got two like Jokers, but I actually have a blue one and a red one to show you the the two side by side. The guarantee Jokers you get with a tally hose is just an information card on the guarantee. I wanted to show you this. This, this, These are my guarantee Jokers right here. I actually double stick tape them together to make a double back card. As you can see there, it's they're kind of stuck together. So I really don't have any use for guaranteed jokers. I really don't like them a whole lot. But since this joker is so cool, that's why I made the list at number four. Number three, you guys have seen this recently. Uh, I think it was my deck study from a couple weeks ago. The Carnival Inferno Jokers, which is right here. These are the Inferno Jokers, really cool jokers. Um, and again, to kind of zoom in there, you can see the flames coming out, which forms a horn uh, design right in the middle. There's a star, and the guys with the wings, the demon coming out of the flames. The only slight variation of this is the face. As you can see, the horns, you got the eyes of fire coming out of them right there. And there is your number three joker. Number two second place once again the split split the split spades david blaine jokers which are super awesome there's a ton of detail in this so i'm going to go through this one a little slower than the other ones but they're identical um it's a joker face and he's got the hat with the collar and these let's start the the kind of the walk through this card with the with the bells on the bottom of the collar and the top of the hat they're actually the fa faces from the court cards, as you can see right there. I'm going to go through this slow. I can't, I'm not going to be able to zoom in much more than this, um, I don't think. Let me try. 
But as you can see there, that's the that's the king of spades right there. We got the jacks and the queens right there. So that makes up the collar. Um, you can see the hair is made up of a tree that's in the background of the scene here. And the, you can see the split spade logo, David Blaine, on the hat. Now the face is cool. It's really awesome. It's made up of a, a card playing scene with David Blaine in the black and the devil in the white at the card table. They're playing cards. Um, you know, the cool feature I thought about this was David Blaine was actually in black and the devil is in white, which leads you to believe that David Blaine's actually the devilish one here playing a trick on the devil. So I thought that was a cool little twist. You can see the jaw of the Joker is made up of the card table. You can kind of see the um, legs of the table right here and the leg of the uh, devil right here. So really cool Joker. You know, from, from a distance it just looks like a face. Um, but again, if you get up and zoom in, you can see all that detail on it, which is really cool. So there is your number two Joker. Number one, which really made, made me almost fall out of my chair when I saw him. It is the Bicycle Ghost Black Edition Jokers. Um, I got the white and the black at the same time. I opened the white first. The Jokers were okay. Um, nothing special, but when I saw these, I, like I said, I almost fell out of my chair because they were so cool. So let's take a look. Here you go, right here. You got this, if you guys are Harry Potter fans, you got this uh, Voldemort looking figure. A ghosty figure, not a lot of features to his face. He's extending his hand towards you in a gesture of come here or give me what you're holding. Kind of magical hand gesture. And it's, in, it's kind of in a 3D you know, there's more detail in the hand than there is in the face to give you that depth perception, which is a really cool design. And there's smoky mist coming out of his arm. Um, he's got, uh, you can't really see it on the camera, but you can kind of see a long draping cloakish um, sleeve hanging off his hand. Really cool. Um, and there is a slight reveal, again, on the second one, which is a 5S which is a five of spades reveal, and it, it's kind of forming out of smoke from his hand. Get a little more detail on that. But I mean, these really, I mean, these really are, these are eye-popping jokers. They're really cool, creepy, scary type ghost figures. Um, it really, it really threw me for a loop when I opened the deck and saw these things. So that's why they're number one. Um, they're just spectacularly well done. Um, I can't say enough about them. So there is your number one. And that is your whole top five right there. I hope you guys liked them. Now let's get into the giveaway for this month. And again, I, I kind of teased it on Facebook last night. Um, I asked you guys if, you, if anyone was afraid of dragons. Um, if you didn't figure it out or you didn't see it, I am referring to two dragon back bicycle decks which I'll be giving away this month so if you guys have seen these they're really nice decks the bicycle did a great job with these um, I highly recommend you know if you don't win the contest to find a way to get these in your hands they're really well done I use them a lot especially the red one the blue one I'm not as fond of is the red one um, but uh, I have my own reasons for that <laughs> you know but uh, again both these decks are really cool um, I try to give these away in packs so you guys can do some different things with them um, here are the back designs on them if you if you if you're interested in that so this is what you guys can win this month again very easy comment on the video like it um, and your comment will be you know randomly selected through for the winner so um, and again it's a, you, can, you only have to leave one comment um, it, it's fine uh, I just you know I'll, how I did the last one I just had my daughter just select one out of you know, her own preference. It didn't really matter. The, the content doesn't matter as long as there's a comment there. Um, but again, I do want your guys' feedback. You know, how am I doing? What can I fix? You know, what are the good points? What are the bad points of my videos? Um, I really want your feedback. Um, subscribe. You guys got to subscribe to win as well. Um, to do that, I want to try to get to 100 subscribers by the end of the month. We had a really good month last month. Um, I think I gained about 40 of you guys. So thank you, thank you, thank you so much for the support. Um, again, as long as we're interactive, I'll be doing more giveaways, um, which will be really cool. So um, if I can get to 100 by the end of the month, I may have something extra uh, to give away as well. We'll see. I haven't really thought about it yet, or I've got some ideas I'm milling around, but 
Um, there you go. So um, go to my Facebook page again at Decks for Dummies. You can enter the contest there as well. Um, or if you want to do both, um, my Facebook page has a little more content on it. My teas, um, the deck studies, and the contests maybe the night before or early in the morning of the day of. So if you guys want these decks, I will get them to you. Again, subscribe, like the video, and leave a comment. Um, and I will pick a winner at random at the, at the end of the month. So we'll do that on the first Monday of August. Um, and real quick, guys, I, I actually have a couple open decks here. Let me show you what these cards look like real quick before I get off here so you guys get an idea of what you're getting. Um, again, I use this deck a lot. I mean, this is really, it's really beat up. I use it all the time. It's one of my favorites just to mess around with. I've actually been playing with this all morning. So here's the back design real quick. I'll just flash through these. Um, the red, it's a deeper blood red that you get. Um, you know that it's standard, mostly standard on this. Um, there's no custom Ace of Spades. Um, it's a standard Ace of Spades right there. You can see it. Um, but let me just zoom in real quick on one core card. Can you kind of see the colors? It's a gold. There's a nice teal in there, which makes it uh, pretty cool. I really like the colors they used in this deck. Um, so here's your red. And it, again, these are really smooth. They actually handle better than your standard bicycle decks, to be honest. Um, not sure why. Uh, it's an air cushion finish, just like normal ones are. Um, but they do handle better, for, in, in my opinion. Here's the blue one real quick. Just pop that open so you guys can take a look at that. Again, same back design, different color. The only difference in this is it's blue instead of red, which is why I don't like it as much. I don't like un... I don't like when they change the black and red color. Um, it's one of my pet peeves with decks, I guess. Um, here's your color on the court cards. Again, the blue. Um, but again, it's a, it's a, it, it handles the same as the red deck. It's exactly the same. Um, again, you get a Joker guarantee. There's that. So there's your, there are your decks for the giveaway. Um, again, subscribe to the channel. Go to Facebook. You know, get interactive with me. Let me know your feedback. Um, I really appreciate it again. Thank you guys so much, and uh, good luck to everybody, and we'll see you out there. Bye.